वेलकम टू द परफेक्ट वीक एंड गेट अवे इन हिमाचल प्रदेश लेट्स गो सिग्नल दैट वी आर So I took a bus straight from Delhi to Kasol, booked it on Zing Bus, which costed me around thirteen hundred rupees one way. And I highly recommend booking the earliest bus out of Delhi to avoid traffic and to reach Bhuntar before six thirty a.m., which then takes you to Kasol. So at this point, I think ki our bus is jinxed. So we reached Bhuntar, and then after that, our bus basically told us that you can't enter Kasol after a certain time. So apparently, six after six twenty, the bus just cannot enter. We don't know whether he could have found. a room to enter or not but he did not and then he dropped us off at bhuntar and was going to put us in a local bus uh, then we just thought ki it's better that we just take a taxi instead because it'd be faster and it costs it's 1300. costing us 1300 bucks so like you said na there's something missing there's something in your missing. stories ki there's something still that is yet to happen yeah yeah oh yeah <laughs> see i knew it so if if you guys follow me or when i was putting up stories on instagram and if you'd go check out the highlights even right now I felt it in my gut last night that something else is also going to go wrong. Like this is not has not ended just yet, and um, so it did. But hopefully this was the start to a good day because we also met someone sweet who dropped us off at the taxi stand. It was even though it was very less, short of a distance, but he was still very nice. So hopefully now the day will go better when we started with some good food. Right. Kasol, known as the mini Israel of India, is a tiny hamlet in the middle of Parvati Valley. Over the years, Kasol has become quite commercialized and has also gained a slightly negative reputation. But I wanted to explore all the unique things this Himalayan village has to offer and show you guys how you can spend a long, enjoyable weekend in Kasol because it's super convenient to get to and also very accessible. The air is fresh, the sky is blue, and there are pine forests. Uh, sorry, pine trees all around you. It's beautiful. Since the main town in Kasol is quite loud and touristy, I recommend booking a homestay in Jalal village or a quiet property along the Parvati river. You guys need to definitely explore the market in Kasol. The street shopping here is insane and I think one of the coolest products are found here. So this is something that you need to check out. I'm going to be taking you through. This is one of India's largest hippie markets. It has hemp bags, fanny packs, crunchies in the craziest colors. also hand woven dream catchers and the silver jewelry is extremely unique my favorite part everything here costs under a thousand rupees i think that you definitely need to try when you're in kasol is one of the many german bakeries that they have here and the thing that you need to try is the bhaksu cake so here they have the dark bhaksu and the white bhaksu cake costs 100 costs 100 rupees i'm having the dark bhaksu cake and let's see how it is I think cost hundred rupees, but value for thousand rupees. <laughs> This is so good. I think it's because I love dark chocolate also, and it's actually super yummy. Okay, so the next thing that's on our agenda in Kasol is to do something that is a little offbeat, and we're going to a location that Sahil is very kindly taking us. Sahil, say hi. Sahil is goes by the name of Peace or Parvat on uh, Instagram, Pat, and on YouTube also, and on YouTube as well. <laughs> so you guys need to definitely follow him on Instagram and YouTube. And he's taking us to this spot which has lagoons apparently. Also, this is my first time coming to Kasol. I've never been here before because there was always this negative connotation attached to it, you know. So I thought, he why not give it a shot this time? And so far, I've actually liked it. It's got a very unique vibe. The street shopping was really cool. They have so many cool things that I've never seen, and uh, the food was yum, and the property that we are staying at is great. And now I think the hike that we're doing, little—I mean, it's not a hike; it's just a small walk to the a spot, has been so pretty so far. So I'm kind of liking it.
another thing that you need to do when you're in Kasol is stay at off limits. The villa is beautiful and an experience in itself. It's riverside, so you've got the gushing sounds of the river and you've got the trees, there are strawberries growing outside and my favorite part is the living room. Look at how beautiful this is. Can you imagine just curling up on this sofa right here and reading a book? It's an experience in itself. If you're traveling on a budget and can't splurge on the villa I just showed you, I recommend you come and stay in the beautiful Chalal or Katagla village. They're right across the main Kasol town, but much quieter, have affordable hostels and beautiful views. So today we started our hike to Chalal and then after Chalal we thought we thoda aage chalte hain and we went to this place called Katagla. And while on our way to Katagla we just stopped at a cafe for some time. And that was like not in the plan and we just thought uske baad we'll take a round and head out. Uh, but while walking I met Kanika here. Uh, Hello. So Kanika said that she follows me on Instagram and uh, we got talking and then she told us that there's this really beautiful cafe um, around in Stona. The, in, and it's called Stona Cafe? Yes. So is the, is the name of the place also Stona? Name of the village and name of the cafe as well. Okay, so the name of the cafe and the village is Stona and it's around a 50 minute hike as per her. Hopefully we'll take 50 we'll minutes and not walk. more. So we're really excited to go there because the views are going to be better uh, because I'm guessing it's more untouched, more raw. And uh, I just love how this was a coincidence and something like this happened so randomly because yeah, otherwise, me. I mean, it's not like we'd planned to meet or I knew her beforehand and that's just so cool because if we wouldn't have stopped there, I wouldn't have met her and this wouldn't have happened. So the world's a small place. Exactly. And I'm really glad to see you as I well. I am so happy to meet you as well. <laughs> so, you. And she's been kind enough to actually get us to the point where now we can go and hopefully not lose our way. So stay tuned for Stoner Cafe and Village. Yeah? Bye. Thank you so much, Kanika. Bye. have our guide with us. <clears throat> what is your name? Sir, tell us, what is your name? So this trail has been a little bit of an adventure because uh, Kanika went us while on her way back to uh, Katagla. And hum abhi, we are going up. So basically, uh, we thought ki, we will do it on our own only. And the guests, the people who run the cafe, will also come down in a bit and meet us midway because there are no proper markings. So we've just been following her directions and finding random rocks and trees and also video calling her to see ki hum theek raste pe hai ki nahi and are we on the right route. This is uh, a signal that we are and that we are succeeding hopefully so far. Uh, as the road, uh, as the rock says, way to Stona, and it's also got a pretty painting. So we're on the right way. Hint number two: way to Stona. There, and we've come from <laughs> there. Hint number three: let's go. Treasure hunt is now over because we've met Neha, Hi. the owner of the cafe, Hello. and uh, and also I think it's in the same Stona village, right? Yes. So have you guys put up all the paintings, like made? Yes, yes. Paintings okay. Made that was very helpful for us because <laughs> we were like, Acha, hint number three, hint number ah, two, yes. to get to the place. So we are painting like all the rocks, not all, but most of them. Okay. Most of them, so that people will get, uh, it could be easy for them to find the treasure. Ah, them. yeah, makes sense. So if you guys ever plan on coming here and uh, you don't have anyone to video call, follow the rocks, follow the paintings, and it shall lead you to the cafe. <laughs> And Thore Badal bhi garaj rahe hain. And it seems like it's going to rain, hopefully not, while we're going up because we're very close. Uh, but the views have changed completely. It's so raw and it's incredible. And 100% if you're here and you're ready to make this hike, you have to come here. Only the last part is a little steep. Just say, as you can hear in my voice. And it's raining, so seems like the rain gods did not listen to me. But we do as he wishes. So let's go. Hello, so we finally reached the cafe on 
on top and Stona village is beautiful ye yahan ka view hai wow this is genuinely incredible and apparently as per neha the moon comes up from there and the view is beautiful you can see the milky way from there here so honestly i think you guys really need to wait ki ye jab bilkul ready ho jayega and stay here but in the meantime you can definitely come hike up here and neha has been kind enough to also make some dal chawal for me which i'm so excited to eat the food is so good literally meri favorite dal which is i think chane ki dal hai na ye yes. chane ki dal which is my favorite achar and rice what else can you want so there are only two houses here one is their cafe their homestay and the other one is the ne their neighbors and that's literally the only two places and that's amazing because kasol is a place that's so crowded and 50 minutes or one hour hike away there's a beauty something so cool so you guys have to come aise lag raha hai ki i'm going to rob someone's house <laughs> it does this doesn't feel right but neha says so it's okay <laughs> Oh, so we're going up to the kitchen. Yes. We're going up to the kitchen. Yes. So, Akanchi, जो हमारा kitchen नहीं बना था ना, तो we used to cook here only. कुछ तो idea होगा आपको? कुछ तो हमारा काम है. भैया को बताओ. बीस साल? नहीं नहीं बीस साल पहले तो यही आए हैं. अभी साल तो शायद मार को ही हैं. आप कितने साल के हो? मैं तो. तो ये काफी पुराना घर है बेसिकली और आपने थोड़ा बहुत इसको मतलब रेनोवेट किया होगा लेकिन कम्प्लीटली नहीं किया अभी ये अंदर वाला थोड़ा थोड़ा नहीं तो पानी से वो खराब तो अभी आप प्लान कर रहे हो कि नया मतलब फ्रेश बनाओगे कहाँ पे आस पास ही लेकिन आंटी की पीठ के लिए अभी हमें यही करना पड़ेगा लेकिन खाना तो बहुत अच्छा बना था इस किचन में तो मुझे कोई कंप्लेन नहीं है उससे <laughs> बहुत टेस्टी थी सिंपल बताते हैं और मुझे दाल के साथ सबसे बेस्ट चीज जो लगी थी वो थी अचार अचार जो आपने बनाया था फ्रेश है ना वो मतलब पता चल रहा था कि मार्केट का अचार नहीं है क्योंकि वो आई थिंक मार्केट के अचार से पता चल जाता है की वो उसमें इतना तेल जो डूब रहा होता है वो उससे पता चल जाता है Thank you so much, Neha and Kunal, for welcoming me here and also showing me such a beautiful place and making me meet the loveliest family. Thank you so much, Didi. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Bye, Kato. Bye. <laughs> so I just got back. I think from one of the most satisfying days here in Kasol, where um, we went up to the Stona village, and I think days like this, days like these, is what makes me so grateful for. the path that i've chosen of traveling because you get to meet families like these who invite you into their homes feed you with their like you know put in the effort to feed you the food that they're eating and she especially got achar for me and it was all just so sweet i was genuinely like it's just so much kindness in the world and again meeting new people and going through that entire trek going through that one area that was like super difficult not super difficult but it was like you know um with the loose like there was a lot of mud there but that's what made it fun you know like since it, it, the comfortable stuff is never exciting it's always the day where you're out of your comfort zone where you're slightly uncomfortable another thing that i highly recommend doing while you're here in kasol is coming to off limits cafe this is one of india's first hemp based cafes here and more than that i mean a lot of us don't even know that the nutritional values of hemp and you guys should definitely come here try this out eat the food here it's so good but more than anything the view is incredible and there's the gushing river right next to it so you know there's music there's the sound of the river there's beautiful lighting what else do you need good food which they have and they've also got a really nice coffee shop where i would definitely recommend trying the cold coffee i love the iced americano as well and um that kit kat shake was yummy too also the paneer steak and i've heard from my friends that the chicken steak is good too so give it a shot um it's called off limits and yeah on to the next spot now Uh, so we just started a hike to Kalga 
and uh, basically they drop you off at a point here niche so you pay around 1000 rupees to get there and then from there you come up and um, which is why i guess a lot of the crowd gets filtered out from kasol because obviously over here no cars can come up and you have to walk up you can get a porter but i mean by the end of the day you still have to do the walking the porter can't carry you up um and the view started changing and it was so beautiful already from like kasol to here you could see the beautiful like the mountains and the snow cap mountain behind me which have fresh snow so beautiful i'm excited to see what's up there i called out one day just to hear a sound someone still around the place that we are staying at actually i have just spent the day here but uh, i was planning on staying here is called yala khom and it's a beautiful homestay i think so far we walked around the village we walked around here and i think this has been the most beautiful homestay so far look at that view behind me <coughs> i don't know if you can hear me but look at that view behind me and my favorite part about this place is the food oh my god i had a simple bowl of noodles so delicious and they also have stuff like thintok and thukpa and basically anything that's like from the himalayan cuisine of sorts and it's super good so 100% i'd recommend that when you're staying here you can stay here um there are private rooms with attached washrooms so that's a big luxury over here so 100% recommend that and um yeah make sure to come here i want to introduce you to khushi who's been with me and look at the amount of Chocolate. this is a this is a <laughs> lunch for today <laughs> And this is honestly my least favorite chocolate ever. ये chocolate है भी नहीं. दूध है ये. This is milk with sugar. But I think अभी आया recently. White chocolate. I have a good memory with it. Boy. Last trek पे जब हम गए थे, हमारे पास chocolates नहीं थे. And this is the only chocolate that we had. तो रात को कुछ भी करके हम ये खा देते हैं. Milky way. Milky bar. Milky bar. Milky way. 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 Milky I guess bar one, bar one is like the sasti masti of five star. I am in love with Kalga. It is so beautiful, so quiet, so calm, and they've got so many of these spots and little dogs everywhere and beautiful mountains. Please come here. This is how you spend four days in Kasol, like I did. coming here going to kalga pulga these are two places that you guys need to visit and it's incredible honestly i would say don't even go to like specific spots just walk around and explore that's how this place feels like it be done justice only like that khushi how do you feel good amazing pair jump me ho gaya na lekin Perfect. नेहा हाई बोलो और नेहा ने मेरे को बोला की वो भी नीचे बस शैनी जा रही है जो डैम के आगे है, है ना तो अभी नेहा मेरे को नीचे शॉर्टकट से लेके जा रही है है ना चले कितने क्यूट हो आप एंड दैट ब्रिंग्स माय ट्रिप टू हिमाचल टू कसोल टू कलगा टू एन एंड and i had such a beautiful time even though it was short but i think i really needed it to get out of delhi and just get some fresh mountain air wow it was amazing and yeah now i'm on my way back home uh, i mean back to kasol actually from kalga where i'm going to get a bus 
and that bus is going to take me back to Delhi and then we have a lot many trips that await us and I'm so excited to share all of that with you guys so make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon and always please send me feedback in the comments I am so grateful for each and every one of you who writes to me on YouTube on Instagram and gives me any sort of feedback at all be it positive be it constructive you know because it helps me learn it helps me grow and we grow together so thank you so much for making me a part of maybe 10 minutes of your day this means the world